Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Wednesday, April the 19th, 2023. My name is Brian J. Monroe. I'm pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. And we are following John MacArthur's devotional book, Drawing Near, Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. Today's uh, entry is entitled, Thinking Biblically. Matthew chapter 5, verse 8 says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Our main thought is, the way you think determines the way you behave. Pastor MacArthur writes, God is concerned about the way you think. That's why Paul said, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what the will of God is that which is good and acceptable and perfect. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. In his letter to the Philippians, chapter 4, verse 8, Paul instructs us to think about that which is true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, of good repute, excellent, and praiseworthy. (coughs) Pardon me. When Jesus spoke of a pure heart in Matthew chapter 5, verse 8, he was talking about sanctified thinking. The Greek word translated heart is cardia, from which we get the word cardiac. While we often relate heart to the emotions, that is, he has a broken heart, the Bible relates it primarily to the intellect. Out of the heart come evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witnesses, slanders. That's from Matthew chapter 15, verse 19. That's why you must watch over your heart with all diligence, as it suggests in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. In a secondary way, however, heart relates to the will and emotions because they are influenced by the intellect. If you are committed to something, it will affect your will, which in turn will affect your emotions. The Greek word translated pure in Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 means to cleanse. In the moral sense, it speaks of being free from the filth of sin. It also refers to something that is unmixed, unalloyed, or unadulterated. Spiritual integrity and sincere motives are appropriate applications of its meaning to the Christian life. Jesus was saying the kingdom citizen is blessed because he or she has pure thoughts and pure motives that together produce holy living. Someone might claim to be religious and have pure motives, but if that person's behavior isn't righteous, that person's heart isn't fixed on God. Similarly, similarly, you can go to church, carry a Bible, recite verses, but if your heart isn't clean, you haven't met God's standard. You must do the will of God from a pure heart. That's what it says in Ephesians chapter 6. Verse 6, toward that end, make David's prayer yours as well. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. That's from Psalm 51, verse 10. Dear friends, I thank you so much, and I commend you for having spent a few moments today considering a devotional truth as presented by Pastor MacArthur. And I've taken his suggestions for prayer and for further study, and I've recorded them in the description portion for this video so that you can follow up on them and uh, do what he suggests, because I believe it is of great value to us uh, as we follow Christ in our discipleship walk. And until we can be together again to consider and contemplate and dig into another devotional truth, And I pray that will be tomorrow for both of us. I bid you in the name of Jesus Christ. Shalom.